Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Transport Fever. Stockpile is 500, we failed on that one. Shamelessly rich, a massive wealth of at least 50 million. We only made 12 million in wealth, so we could have done better on that one. Right, that's Progress that bit. Progress is finally here. The former occupiers have returned a beautiful island kingdom somewhere in the middle of the Pacific to its native inhabitants or what is left of them some 200 years after James Cook. Now that the yoke of colonialism has finally been shaken off, democracy and modernization can finally gain a foothold. The first charismatic presidente of the archipelago is very concerned with increasing the prosperity of the region, and we can help him. Surprise the presidente and fulfill his requirements before 1975. Earn three million in one year. Make sure that no vehicle is, oh, within one year. Now, is that the first year or is that just at any 12-month period? Make sure no vehicle is 10 years old or older. So we need to replace any vehicles in our fleet at nine years old. That could be a bit more difficult. Salvage all sunken ships. Take a train over a rail line with a high point at least 200 meters of, with at least 200 meters of elevation. This could be interesting. Welcome to paradise. The formal colonial power has left for good. And now our beloved Presidente finally rules the country much to the benefit of the people. However, things are lacking. Or rather, our wonderful Presidente wants to supply his citizens better. In order for more growth and prosperity to come to our island realm, the transportation infrastructure must be rebuilt. It was sadly neglected by our former occupiers in recent years. Our perfect Presidente will reward us richly for our services. We get to keep our heads. <laughs> okay. Our splendid Presidente wants a rail line and an airline with all his heart. There is a lot to do. We have to make both airports ready for operation, and we need an airplane. The old rail line has decayed and must be rebuilt, and there is no trace of the locomotive in the cars. In addition, we currently only have one cargo ship and a handful of rickety trucks and buses available. Let's ask around among the populace and find out if there is anyone who can help us in return for some service. Operate an airline between Costa Ade is it Adeje? Adeja? Adeje or Adeja? Costa Adige. Costa Adage, I think. Co Costa, Co Costa Adage, uh, Santa Cruz, as well as a rail line between Las Puntas, Santa Cruz, and Las Palmas. Or is it La? Is it Las? Las, I think. Las Palmas. Um, right. Uh, vehicles can be sold and repurchased any time, but at a higher price. If you've got to, so we need an airline between Costa Adage and Santa Cruz. And a rail line between Las Puntas, Santa Cruz, and Las Palmas. That's the basics of what we've got to do. Over here, we've got Mas Palomas. We've got oil over here. There's a question mark right there. We'll deal with that in just a second. Uh, we've got a shipyard over here. Iron ore mine and a quarry right there. Chemical plant right there. Down here, there's the airport. We've got another question mark on that one. Gold mine in there. Another question mark. Steel mill right there. And there's another port. So that's Costa Adesia or Adesh. Uh Santa Cruz. So we need to get this airport up and running. I would assume that would be mostly for passengers. I can't really see it being as a farm down there. I can't really see it being much use for anything else. Um, farm there, a farm there. We've got industrial works over there. I've got train stations here. There's lots of question marks on all of these. Let's start clicking on some of these and see what they do while we're paused. Vehicles in use, airplanes, locomotives, rail cars, cargo ships, 0 of 1, trucks, 0 of 8, buses, 0 of 4. Now, we're supposed to have our entire fleet. I start off with 10 million. That's not too bad. 
Our Grand Presidente is eagerly awaiting the opening of the new rail line, which we will naturally name after him in his honor. The architect who designed the train stations currently cannot be found. Supposedly he has abandoned his profession. Let's ask his former colleagues in the architectural office. The station building in Las Puntas is still in good condition, but the one in Santa Cruz was torn down many years ago. The architect who designed the train stations cannot be found. Supposedly he has abandoned his profession as task is in the architectural office office a clue at any rate right find the architect oh, he's over here so let's go to the architectural office which would be is that it it's just a commercial building let's click on there the architects don't know where their colleague has disappeared to either but he is said to have a nephew we will pay him a visit he currently lives in costa adage why didn't you say the name of this town? I'd have been able to do something then. Find the nephew. I'd, I'd, you know, if, if they'd said the name of it, uh, the name of the town, then that would have helped me out immensely. Still no success. All the nephew could give us was a mysterious farewell letter. My dears, ever since I built that train station, there has been far too much traffic here for me. What a monster I have created. Forgive me for leaving you. You will find me where almost no train can reach, unless it can float. Ooh. We have a mystery. A mystery is afoot. Right, so. We need to find an island. I'm guessing this little island over here. There we go, look. There is his home. Unbelievable. We found the architect. And now we also know which basement holds the plans for the station building. We only had to promise him we wouldn't build any floating trains. You can now build passenger train stations. Outstanding. Right. There's that little mystery taken care of. We can now build uh, passenger trains, I think it said. Let's go with this next one. Our island world may be beautiful, but the weather is often very ugly. That is why cargo ships unfortunately sink off the coast from time to time. One or two of them can certainly be salvaged and repaired. But for an action like that, we will need pontoons. Fortunately, our colonial lords left behind a very modern chemical plant, which can supply us with plastic. The operators of the chemical plant will deliver pontoons to us if we find crude oil for them. But that is an expensive undertaking. You notice he said the operators of the chemical plant, instead of saying the name of the town. I think they're cheating here. In this task, pay... 2.5 million to the Mas Palomas chemical plant in order to finance the search for crude oil. Uh, they will deliver pontoon if we can find crude oil for them. Right, there's 2.5 finance for drilling. Do it. Now it is a question of patience. We will know more soon. Wait three months until the results are available. If you steal my money, I'm not going to be very happy with you. Okay, so there's that bit. I've got nothing over on that island. I do have something over here at the airport. I'm assuming this is an airport. In order to set up the airline for our Grand Presidente, we not only need an airplane, but also two presentable airports. To make the airport operational again, we need the help of the local population. If we provide the town with construction materials, the inhabitants will trample out a runway in the grass for us. He's done it again. He refused to name the town. It's just call it the town and to make the airport operational again. He, he didn't even mention it at all. They're cheating. They are absolutely cheating now. See to it that at least 10% of the demand for construction materials in Costa Adesia is covered so that the airport can be made operational again. 10% uh, of the demand for construction materials in the town is covered. So we've got to get construction materials. And this is the construction materials over here, isn't it? Oh, no, that's a steel mill. It's not from there. We've got to get materials from there. It's, this is construction materials over here. We've got to get those to the docks and then over to here. So we're going to need boats floating around. That's what we're going to need. We're going to need some boats floating around. We don't need to worry about boats going to the back over here. We just want them going between these three over here. And then that's going to be ferrying things in between. Uh, what about... Oh, I can't make railways yet. I can't do that at all. We've got other things that we've got to do. Let's... For rail construction, we need steel. 
What a pity we don't have any. Maybe the steelworks can help us. Of course, not without something in return. If we help them produce steel, they will produce rails for us in the future. Deliver coal and iron ore to Costa at El Steel Mill in order to enable rail con uh, construction. Right, well that's easy enough. So enable that, we've got to get the... We, coal is easy, that's a simple land route set up across here. I can do that, that's very, very simple. Um, but we've also got to get the iron ore, that's a boat trip from over there. Yes, we can cope with that as well. And then we've got the construction materials here. Our roads are in terrible condition. They absolutely must be rebuilt to put an end to the constant bumpity bump. Stone is not enough for good roads. If we provide stone and slag, they will help us to build paved roads. If we provide Las Palmas construction, materials plant with stone and slag. See, he's missing out all the names. I'm assuming that the voiceovers were done before they named the towns, unless these missions can are uh, similar between this and the Euro the American one as well. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not really sure. But anyway, um, we need to deliver stone and slag to here in order to enable improved roads. Currently, only slow roads can be built. Once this mission is finished, faster roads will be available and slow roads can be upgraded. You can then deliver the construction materials produced by the factory to the industrial areas of the surrounding cities. Right. So, yes, that's going to be the... We're going to... Boats is going to be the first thing. We're going to need boats. We've got four, uh, four docks that we need to work through. I've got one cargo ship there. I'm hoping that we can get more than that. We've got some roads here that we can do stuff with. Uh, next up is the farm. Farmer Rick owns an old airplane for crop dusting. Since he has switched over from growing grain to cattle ranching, he would be willing to sign the plane over to us. But in return, he wants us to stimulate his business a little. Deliver at least 50 cattle from Las Puntas Farm to Santa Cruz Food Processing Plant. You can then deliver the food by the factory to the commercial areas of the surrounding cities. Right, so we've got to collect livestock from here and send it to where? I can't remember where he said it. Uh, from the farm to Santa Cruz. Right, Oh, we've only got to take it over to there. It's fairly easy. Oh, wait a sec. Uh... Santa Cruz food process. Oh, we've literally got to go from there down to here. Right, that's it. That's the. That's all we got to do. Is we we just got to run it from there down to there, and then we got to distribute the food between the three towns. But that's easy enough. So that's a very very simple one to do there. We've got another one over here. What's this? Oh, there's some carriages there. We have found the train, or at least what's left of it. Rosie the cook has repurposed the cars for the expansion of her snack bar. The locomotive serves as an exhibit to draw customers. What a sad fate for such a venerable machine. If we can provide enough customers, then Rosie will be able to afford a proper new building and will let us have the cars. We can also have the locomotive if we promise to use it regularly and to shout Rosie's advertising slogan out the window at least once every trip. <laughs> okay. Shout it out the window at least once every trip. Connect residential area of the city and the snack bar with a bus line in order to transport passengers there. Right, well that's easy. We've got to get a, a bus line out here to the snack bar and bring that into the city. Is it that city or is it one of the other? It's, it's just this city here. So we've just got to do a bus line into there. That's probably the easiest bit to do. So we can do that to start with. I mean, we spent two and a half million on oil for up there. We'll we'll see what that brings us later. Um, and there's a lot to do in this mission. Right, now we've gone round. There is a lot to do. I'm loving this. There is a huge amount for us to do. We, we've got a lot to do in order, to, in order to be able to make all of this work. We have got a massive amount of things to do. And I, I, I love it. I think this is absolutely brilliant. Now... One thing that I'm not sure of is, let me have a look here. Do I have any depots? Line. I don't think I've got any depots at all. So we need to make a, but bring visitors to the snack bar. Connect the residential area of the city and the snack bar with a bus line in order to transport passengers there. I don't have... A bus line at the moment now what I'm thinking is if I was to build 
over here a road depot. I don't have a road depot. So if I build a road depot, a field will be removed. I don't want to remove a field. If I build a road depot over here somewhere, then that can be used to supply vehicles to all three cities. And I wouldn't need to. But then, I mean, a road depot, they, they are ridiculously cheap. So, I, I mean, I don't need to do that, do I? There, there, there is absolutely no need for me to go to that kind of extreme. So let us uh, spin that bad boy around like that. And that one can just go in there. We'll... we'll... Too much curvature. Construction not potted. Oh, I see. It wants... Right, we'll bring it out to there, over there like that. So there is the road depot. Now it's January the 25th, 1955 at the moment. So by road vehicles, we've got the Daimler top seater. That one's available. That is the only one that is available from 1922. Now the thingy there is make sure that no vehicle is 10 years old or older so we cannot run these for the lifespan of 30 years we can only run it for nine years we it, it can't be 10 make sure none of them is 10 years old or older right it's not less than that if it reaches 10 years it's too late so we've got to replace it at nine years that's what we got to do we're going to have to make a replacement at nine years i'm not going to buy anything yet i'm going to set up a bus service in this town so we'll just have a quick look at where the vehicles are going. They're on the right-hand side. We will go and do what we have done a few times before. We will do passenger with bus stops right there. And I'm just going to do this on a loop. So we will start right there. Let's zoom out a little bit to do this. We will go right up to that corner. And it doesn't look like there's any roads that I want to sort of boost out on this one so i'll put one to there and then out on that side i am going to need to take into account the middle of town i will do that put one there out over that side and then you're going to go all the way around over to here keep it on the outside edge Look at all of this traffic up through here. This is this is not good. I'm hoping that we will be able to get round a lot of this traffic. And I also want to be able to get into the middle of town. So I'm going to put a bus stop there. A bus stop there. And put one there. Another one there. Now, this bit over here, I'm going to put one right there, like that. So it'll come down, it'll go around it, and go on to that one. And then we'll go up this way. We will put a bus stop there. And then that'll be it. So I'm going to do a road like that. But then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to put a bus stop here on this side. Where's he going to turn around? If I put, I'm going to put it over there. I'm going to put it on that side. So they'll walk from that one over to that one. And from there, I will also put a bus stop out over here. Like that. So that is a simple route on that one right there. Next, we will go to create line and create new line. Line 1, which is in a nice bright yellow, is going to go over to here and then onto that one. And we go around the outside of the town to start with, like this. All the way around. All the way out there, taking that bit into account. And then it goes up and it joins onto that one. And then we go to here. And we go to that one. And we go back into that one. Over there. On that one there, look. And that one there is stop number 15. There's that line. That's done. Perfect. Right, we've got that bright yellow. So then I'll go in here and I will buy Daimler top seats. And these are going to be that bright yellow like that. And I'm going to buy 
12 of these buses at 70 at 80,000 a piece. 1 2 3 4 5 What wait what? Why can't I get any more? 4 <gasps> Buses 4 of 4. Oh dear. Right, well I didn't mean to do that. I can only get four buses right now. I did I didn't take that into account. Vehicles in use. I don't have any aeroplanes. I've only got one cargo ship that I can use as well. I gotta be a bit more careful with this. Right, it's all well and good having our bus route here. And one of those needs to go out on the other line. Uh, so you right there. Daimler, top seat. Yeah, they're, they're just going to have the stairs a yellow one as well. I'm simply going to have to keep that as a yellow one. So I'm going to go here, line one, replacement vehicle. No vehicles on line. Right. It won't let me do that. Make a new line from there up to there like that. That's all we want on that one. I only want one bus on that line because the other three are going to be working in the town. Buy road vehicles. Yeah, I don't want to buy. I can get trucks. I want to change you. That Daimler top seater there. Now, set line all. I'm going to set line all on line one a minute. Like that. Then I'm going to go. Because I'm not really sure how else to do it. I'm going to take you right there. And send to depot. Send to depot and sell. Right, let's just press play a minute. I've sent it to the depot, so what's it going to do? Is, is it going to go out and just turn around? Yeah, he's going out, he's turning around, and he's coming back in. There we go. There's the new Daimlers. Right, that's fantastic. I'm going to pause that again now, because uh, I don't want to do anything for a second. Buy a road vehicle, and I want to make sure that that is line 2 colour. So I'm going to buy another one of those, and that is that color right there. Daimler top seat. Buy that bad boy. And then I'm not allowed to buy any more. I got my four of four. This is a very interesting restriction that it's putting on to us. I like this. I do. I think this is absolutely brilliant. Okay. You right there, set line all, line two. Right. That's on line two. So this one here, replacement vehicle. Yes, we've got the yellow. Lifespan 30 years. Okay, so I've got that one there. Automatic lifespan percentage. Now it's 30 years. 50 25%. I gotta do that at 25%. Automatic. So that's 25% of 30 years is seven and a half years. That's the closest that we're gonna get to it, I think. Wait. Replacement vehicle? That's wrong. I can't... I can't set it for a replacement. Why can't I choose the Daimler as a replacement? It's because I've already got those... Bus okay, that makes life even more difficult for me. So I can't have... We won't have the replacement then. We will simply leave that. Let's... Go back into that. You're coming out and... You're going to start where there's nothing else that I can do anywhere. Actually, there is. We could set up a few more bits. But I just want to get this bus over. That's going to head... That green one there, he's going to head off. I've got these guys here. They're moving out and... They're, they should be starting to... Gather up passengers... You over here, I need you working on this line. So we're just going to, I'm going to let that one run through, do what it needs to do. Is it going to go up there? Right, it's gone to that point there, and then it's going to go up there, turn round, and then it's going to head out this way. Along the bumpity bump roads. That's what we need next. It's out along the bumpity bump road, and then it'll get to this bus stop over here, and then it'll turn around and go back again. It's not going to do anything special. At zero of eleven. There so we go. So much for that. Not a drop of oil to be found. Oh. But on the main.
Plastic has also been made from plants for a while now. Maybe we could borrow one of those processes. In order for the chemists to be able to test the process, we need large amounts of grain. Deliver 100 grain to the Mespalamus chemical plant so that they can test their new process. Right, so basically they went and took my money and didn't do anything with it. Slimy little... Oh, bring visitors to the snack bar. I've got to deliver 50 people up to this snack bar with that bus going backwards and forwards. So that was going to stay there. I've got a passenger queued up over here and we've got our buses busy working in the town. They will travel around the town and that one is just going to go backwards and forwards doing stuff over there. Next up, trucks, zero of eight. Well, probably the easiest thing to do to start with is to start moving cattle from there down to there. That would be the easiest thing to do at the moment. Details. Product 24 grain right there. Oh, it produces grain and it produces cows. This one over here needs cows and grain and produces that. So we want to set up another line over here. Uh, I'm going to just pause things there a second. I'm going to go here. No, I can't. You cannot just deliver from one to the other, can you? You've got to set up the truck transport routes for that. So we need to go to cargo truck station right here. And I want to put a truck station in there so that I can load and unload like this. So I'm going to bring that one. I want to bring that one. There's little point in me putting it over here. Like, it does come over and it will do a little bit for the town, but I think there's little point in me doing that. I'm going to bring that one over to there. Now, people told me that I could use the bus stops. So I will see if we can use the bus stops to deliver the food. I was told I can use bus stops. This is going to be very, very interesting to see if this will actually work. I'm going to put this one over on this side. That one's going to go there like that. We'll cover it, and it's on the right side of the track there. So I need a route, first of all, that is going to go from that one down to that one there. That's it. That's all I need to do. That is the bright green line just there. I'm going to put three lorries on there at the moment. Three, I think, is all we want to do. So let's go to you and buy road vehicles. We need the Opal Blitz right there. And this one needs to be a bright green like that. And I want to buy three of them. Buy one, two, and three like that. Set line or line three. Off you go. And I might be able to set a replacement on here. If I go to there, you've got a 30-year... Lifespan, I can't set that one. It won't let me pick the buses because I've got four or four. But if I go there and I say OK on that and I put a 25% replacement and I go automatic replacement on like that, it still says three of eight trucks, but I've now got automatic replacement on it. So I don't really understand why that does what it does, but it does. Next, I will go from here which is going to be taking food, because I've got to deliver deliver grain, collect livestock. Oh, deliver, the grain's got to be delivered somewhere else. So livestock is going to here. Oh, and some there. But i also got to get grain over there. Now, I've, So I've, I've got a farm there, which is grain. Have I got more grain anywhere else? Do I have any other? I don't have any other farms. We've only got the one farm. Right. We'll deal with that in a bit. We know that we've got some deliveries coming to here, so we can focus on those to start with. I want to make this next route. So... Well, folks, that's all we've got time for today. We'll be back again very soon, turning yet more pristine natural landscapes into booming industrial wasteland. But before then, if you enjoyed this video, then could you please head down below and give us a like? And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.